What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Liftoff, and you don't want to miss this flight. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be going over a few different transitions, some a little bit on the easy side, other ones are going to be a little bit on the harder side, especially the last one. That one's going to be for DJs that like to make really, really quick transitions. So first, I'm going to show you all of the transitions in real time. It's going to be a lot of transitions all the way boiled down to about just one minute. Then we're going to go over them step by step. Let's hop right into it. I already know what it is. I already know what it is. I already know what I already know what it is. I already know what it is. It is. We got another one, boy. ATL. All right, DJ, so there's the first transition right there. Now, I know a lot of you already use stem, so this one isn't going to be too complex. So essentially, the first thing you want to do on your left deck or whatever deck you want to have the acapella on, you want to have that one already prepared and ready to go. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and load up where the bag at on my left deck. I'm going to go ahead on this particular mixer. I'm going to go to my sampler that uh, gives me my stems. So I'm going to take out all of my stems. So I just have or take out the, um, the instrumental, the bass, and the melody, so I just have my vocal, and I also have a cue point set up right here. You wanna have your cue point set up to exactly where you wanna bring in that track. Now, on the other track, this is the um, track I'm gonna be taking the acapella or the vocal out of so I can bring in the other one. And the only thing you need to know is you wanna take out, uh, well, there's a few different ways you can do it. The first way, how I did it, you wanna take out the vocal right on that beat number four, uh, or bar four, beat four. So if you're counting one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, you have four and two and three and four. When you're on that bar four, beat four, that's when you wanna go ahead and hit your button right here to take out that vocal. You got another one, boy. Four and two and three and four and one. All right, so as you can see there, we hit it right on that bar four, beat four. So this is gonna be kinda quick on this one. So right after you hit it um, on that bar four, beat four, that's when you wanna go to your other deck and then you wanna bring in that track um, depending on wherever that vocal starts. Mine is, it's like right before the one, so it's where the bag at, and the bag actually is the one. Now this also could be on bar four, beat three, it could be on bar four, beat two. Like I always say, be creative um, and do things however you want, so just anywhere around that realm. Bar four, beat two, three, or four. So now let's move on to the next transition. All right, so there's the second transition right there. Essentially, all you wanna do is you wanna do a hard cut out of the instrumental that you currently have playing. So with that, we're just gonna move our crossfader over. So now we just have that vocal. Then we're gonna quickly load our instrumental, a new instrumental on our right deck, and then we're gonna do a simple scratch pattern to scratch that in. So as far as timing on your left deck, again, this may vary depending on the acapella or the vocal that you're using. On this particular one, I actually did that hard cut, so I moved my crossfader over to the left to just have this vocal on. That was on bar four, beat number three. So let's count that out really quickly. Three and two and three and four and four and two and three and four and one. All right, DJs, one quick note. You always wanna have the next track ready 
to go. So if you're doing a quick transition or you know the next song that you're going to be going into, you want to make sure that you use your knob and you're highlighted on the correct song. So for this particular one, I have I Get the Bag. This is going to be the instrumental that I'm going to scratch in. I'm already highlighted over it or my cursor is already on that track. So again, all you have to do is, of course, move your crossfader over to the left. That's just going to leave the vocal here. Again, that's on bar four, beat number three. And then on bar four, beat number four, that's when you're actually going to start this transition right here um, or this short scratch pattern. All it is is literally two really quick baby scratches and then a baby scratch. So it's going to sound just like this. So you can also do a chirp scratch there if you would like to as well. And then right after you do that, you're of course dropping on that one. So just like this. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next transition that's gonna come up right after this part of the mix. And this is gonna be the really, really quick transition where you're gonna have to use your hands really quickly. Let's take a look at it first. All right, DJs, for this transition, all you're doing is you're using the echo to actually transition out of that vocal that you have there. In doing this, I'm just holding my lever down so I can use the echo on that last piece of vocal. And then as soon as you do that, literally as soon as I hit this down on that bag, I'm gonna take my cross or my, my volume fader all the way down. I'm gonna quickly hit the next track. Again, this is why having your cursor or having the song already prepared to go is best. I'm gonna hurry up and hit this low button. I'm gonna re-bring this uh, volume fader up and then I'm gonna hit the Q button to where I wanna start the next track. So all of that has to happen literally within one beat. So that's on bar four, beat four. That's where that bag is falling. So essentially, um, let me play it really quickly or show it to you even a little bit slower than it already is. All right, so there's that transition one more time. Really, really slow down. So again, this is that really, really quick transition if you want to bring in or if you essentially want to echo out a vocal and then you want to bring in another track immediately. So now moving on to the very last transition. Here we go. All right, DJs, for this last transition, all you're essentially doing is you're playing around with your vocal just using that loop. So on my particular S9, my DJM S9, I have this loop button set to my last pad right here in my mixer section. So as soon as I get to this particular part, um, this could of course be any particular part that you want to loop within your vocal. Um, before I actually loop it, all I'm doing is I'm pressing this button here with my stems button so I can take out the instrumental first. So I'm just left with that vocal. Then I'm going back to my cues here and I'm pressing that button to uh, loop this vocal. So I'm essentially just showing you that you can play around with this half X and this two X while this vocal is looped. And then you could just drop it or you could literally, um, you could drop it how I did, which is like another hard cut when I brought in this other track over here or when this track actually came in on um, where the vocal came in. So you could just fuck up a bag. drop this one. You could also do an echo out like this. Fuck up a bag. 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 And just echo it out like that. Let me show you how that would actually sound. Fuck up a fuck up a bag. Fuck up a bag. Fuck up a bag. Fuck up a fuck up a fuck up a bag. 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 So there's me using the echo right there. You could also use the reverb, which I like to use as well. Here's a quick example of how you can use reverb as well. And there's a quick example of how you can use the reverb, okay? So I showed you reverb, I showed you echo, and I showed you the hard cut as well. Now in the mix, um, at the very, very end there in my mix, I actually used 
that same vocal as a wordplay. I'm not gonna go over that in this particular video, but you can see and just rewatch that and see how you can also use um, if a wordplay makes sense. It may or may not make sense depending on the particular mix you're doing. But however, those are all of the transitions that I just wanted to quickly show you all transitions that you can use. Some are a little bit easier than others. Also have that quick scratch pattern in there as well. But if you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. Please press that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video. And without further ado, I will catch y'all on the next flight.